I needed somewhere safe and remote to launch my rocket planes. Somewhere where nothing could catch fire. Somewhere rocky, barren. In the end, I contacted this military station in the desert. It was hard for an unknown civilian to get clearance, especially as this is a one-tenth scale facility, and our planes are nearer one seventy-second scale. But when I mentioned that I once dreamed that I'd met Jamie Heineman, the atmosphere seemed to thaw, and eventually we were given a launch slot on what did prove to be a rather windy afternoon. Every time I adjust the uh, gantry, the wind will change, won't it? Okay, the wind's dropped down, now is the time. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> What's going to happen? The Avro Vulcan, ladies and gentlemen. The Avro Vulcan, ladies and gentlemen. The Avro Vulcan, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! Come on, Oh, I say! Marvellous! What was it? Fly by plane, fly! 
fly by plane. <laughs> yeah! 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 <laughs> Thank you, by plane. So the GWS stick. <laughs> and then it all went boom. But ah! <laughs> I couldn't throw it fast enough for the thrust. Yeah. So you should launch it before it goes off. Oh yeah, not another one. So, what did I learn? Firstly, all the profile models with a rocket motor mounted below the fuselage failed to fly in the same way. They leapt from the launch gantry and looped because the centre of aerodynamic drag was above the centre of thrust. I had expected this and tried to compensate by installing the rockets with a little down thrust. Secondly, I tried launching the NASA UAV, the Sabre and the Hunter downwind. The Sabre and Hunter had underslung rockets. They were doomed to failure regardless of wind direction. The UAV, however, might have flown very well had we launched into the wind. The MiG-25 and the GWS stick might also have flown well if we hadn't hand launched them. They're both configured with the thrust line close to the centre of drag and both test glided beautifully on a windless day before the launch date. If anyone watching this video chooses to learn from my mistakes and go on to do better, I'd be delighted to watch their video. Thanks for watching.